So here we have the Vauxhall Grandland X on a 20 plate. I'm going to start off by hopping inside the car and running through some controls first of all. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. Over on the left-hand side, we have the rev counter. On the right-hand side, the speedometer. In the middle at the top, the fuel gauge and coolant temperature gauge. And beneath that, uh, you can see the total miles of the, the car, first of all, now 21,176. And then you'll see that we have a digital readout for the speedometer displayed in that section as well. You can change information there by using controls on the indicator stalk. If we back out to the steering wheel, on the right hand side we have stereo and phone controls and over on the left hand side we have cruise control and speed limiter. In the centre you'll find the touch screen for the car so this is where you can access uh, pairing your phone for example, your audio menu of course and you'll see we have AM, FM and DAB radio as well as USB input and you can stream your music wirelessly via Bluetooth audio as well once you've paired up your phone. You can connect up your smartphone uh, via USB for uh, and use this projection here for certain voxel friendly apps uh, that you can have displayed up on here. We have the main volume for the stereo just there. Deadlocks so you can lock and unlock the car doors from the outside. Beneath that we have the dual zone climate control. So you can adjust the passenger and driver temperature. You can increase and decrease the fan speed. Uh, you can determine what direction you'd like the air to be distributed in. Uh, and when you're happy with those settings, you can turn your air conditioning on, and it's on when that light shows. Same button will turn it off again. Uh, or hit auto. The car, as you can hear, will take control of the fan speed for you to maintain the temperatures that you've asked for. We have some storage in here, along with a 12 volt charging socket and USB input. We then have various settings uh, from dead locks, uh, child locks. We can turn our parking sensors on and off. We can turn off the stop and start. This car is designed to cut out when it's stationary in traffic to save you fuel. The system is off when that light shows. We can turn on and off our lane departure warning system. We can reset the tire pressure warning system from here. And we can turn off our traction control as well. And then finally, we have a six speed manual gearbox. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see this ULES compliant car for yourself and have a test drive, please feel free to call either of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.